Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Mike Blaney. I'm a general and bariatric surgeon in Augusta, Georgia. A Live Healthy MD is a comprehensive medical and surgical weight loss center. And today uh, we're going to talk about surgical stapling and the risks of staples in our body. Most modern procedures performed laparoscopically today, particularly those that involve the gastrointestinal tract, utilize surgical staplers and bariatric surgery is no different. All of these operations that we perform um, use staples of various uh, types in order to facilitate the operation. Now stapling is really nothing new. It's been around for about a century or so. Over time with technology, we've now been able to perform what was once not possible laparoscopically we're now able to do these operations laparoscopically because of these surgical staplers that we now have. Now, stapling tissue is really very similar to stapling paper. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the shape of a regular paper staple. We call it a U shape. And when we staple paper, the staple goes through the paper and hits a metal piece, an anvil, and bends inward to form a nicely shaped B. We call this the B shape of the staple. The only difference between paper stapling and stapling tissue as we do in weight loss surgery is that these instruments that we use deploy multiple staples at the same time. The linear stapler that we use most commonly in these operations will fire about 80 staples at once and these staples are fired in a linear arrangement, six rows, and the staples are staggered so there's no gaps. There's a knife blade that will cut down between the middle of those six rows, separating the tissue on both sides. And that's really how we do these operations, and uh, the gastric bypass or the sleeve gastrectomy would not be possible to be performed laparoscopically if we did not have these uh, stapling devices. Now initially, when we uh, perform these operations, this, the strength or the integrity of uh, what we've done um, sealing the tissue, prevent, preventing the bowel from leaking, is really has to do with the integrity of the staple line itself. Now over the course of about a week, tissue is going to heal. So effectively we don't need the staples anymore in the tissue because the tissue is healed over just much, much like a, a skin incision. If we divide the skin and close it with staples, if you took the staples out soon after dividing the skin, the skin would separate. But after about a week, we can take the staples out and the skin's not gonna separate because the skin is now healed together. And that's no different when we do intestinal tract surgery. Now, of course, these staples are, are made of metal. They're made of titanium, so they don't rust. They're very inert, meaning they do not cause reactions within our body. So they're very safe. So there's no risk to these staples being in our body. They're not magnetic, so I've gotten asked these questions before about whether or not the patient can go through a metal detector in an airport, so that's not a problem. So there's no uh, magnetic properties associated with titanium. So the staples will be with you for the rest of your life. They don't dissolve, and they're, of course, cannot be taken out. They're embedded in the tissue. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. and. Uh, check us out on our YouTube channel for other similar videos addressing common questions that patients have surrounding weight loss surgery.